Well, hello, YouTube. Got me new boots. My CD vertebrae. Saturday, 2nd of May. And the good weather is returning. So all that fantastic weather we had. It did break last week. We had a few days of rain. But it's all returned. So I've got my new vertebrae, city vertebrae, same as Goosey's boots, and these are so comfortable, they're amazing, oh, feels good, because the RST ones, you all know the issues I've had with the zips, and I think I know why the zips bust open on them, um, I've heard quite a few other people complaining of the same problem with RSTs. And I'll just show you, I've compared the RST boots to these city ones. And I'll show you what the difference is with the zip. So here's the footage. Right then, so, this is my RST boot. And the problem is that zip keeps busting open. And I think the problem is, you've got your Velcro strap here. But the strap is only at the top part so when you bend it breaks the zip there's nothing supporting the zip so my new boot my new CD has same again it has the zip but it has a little velcro strap across it so whatever happens the leather is going to keep the zip in place but this one there's no support for the zip do the zip up put the velcro in place it's now supported and that's the second pair of rsts where i've had a problem with them so i won't be buying those again Bye bye RST. Hello CD. So I'm just going to go and see my dad. He's not been very well just recently. And the last three days he's been stuck on the settee. He hasn't been able to get up or move or get to bed. And I only found this out yesterday. So he's done something. He's been having severe pain in the back of his neck and down his back that he couldn't move um, so we're not sure what that was he's been pumping himself for the tablets so he's um, he's managed to control the pain now my dad has a condition called hemochromatosis, which is he's been a mechanic all his life so obviously every joint on his body is absolutely knackered knackered and riddled with arthritis so his knees, his wrists, his ankles, his shoulders and what his condition is, is his body overproduces iron and what that does, it puts up a ferritin level in your blood which then builds up around the joints on your bones and basically causes arthritis gives you joint pain and the only way you can remove iron from the blood, excess iron, the only treatment you can have is to take blood. So every three weeks he has to have a pint of blood, I think it is, or a litre, something like that. I have to take blood from him, which basically takes the iron out of your blood system. And so every three weeks he has that done to control his iron levels. Now, his last appointment was in October and then every so often he has his treatment after then he has to have blood tests just to measure the levels so anyhow 
October was the last time I had his treatment. He had an appo- a reappointment for January, but obviously that then got cancelled, and then obviously all the coronavirus started. So yesterday I spoke to his doctor about his uh, symptoms and that, and saying that he hadn't had any blood taken since October. And the doctor did say, well, you know, his ferritin levels could rise quite a bit since then. It says, and if it's building up around his neck or the base of his skull, it could cause him some problems. So we're not sure if that's what's happened. So we've got to contact the hospital on Monday. See if we can get an appointment from Travis blood taken, but we're not sure if outpatients are open. So we still don't know that yet. So I want to go and see him. Um, I went and did some shopping for him yesterday. I spoke to him this morning and he didn't manage to get up the stairs last night to bed. So he has been to bed, so I'm just going to pop round and see. See if he needs anything doing. So the 7th of May, we find out if the lockdown's going to be extended. And oh, I've got a feeling it is going to be. Which I think was due to end. I think it was the 15th, Friday the 15th of May. Now the Saturday, the 16th of May, was meant to be our Alan Valley tour. Well, there's about 23 of us going. We had the campsite booked. Obviously, that's all still booked. And if it don't happen, obviously, we'll just reschedule and pick another date. But it'd be nice to think that the lockdown on the 15th of May, they say, oh, yeah, as of tomorrow, you can go out and you can go camping. I doubt it very much. Very much, I doubt that. So we have a little dream tour. Let's do a little dream tour today. Where should we go today? Let's all know where we can go. A cheeky little ride we did. So today's dream tour. We've got some blue sky. The weather's beautiful. Nobody's worrying. Everybody's happy. I look in my mirror. Goose is behind me. And today we are heading to Clee Hill. For a little ride. So sit back and enjoy.
I'm back at work next week I've got to go in Monday and Tuesday now it's looking dry at the moment so I might go on the bike so first things first let's get some fuel another topic my leg the problem was I've been with my left leg which we thought it was sciatic um, I think it was some kind of nerve it got to have been some kind of nerve so all of a sudden well it's gone 99% it's gone I can feel it very slightly if, say, I stretch my leg or bend forward or anything like that. But, see, when I was looking into sciatic nerve, it didn't really fit the symptoms. It wasn't a sharp pain. It did fit more that it was a piriformis muscle or whatever it is on your bootock, on your bootock. Um, but I don't know. I would have thought with muscle damage or pulling a muscle, you know, I would have done it before if I've pulled my neck or something like that on my shoulder. It slowly gets better over time, where this kind of, one morning, oh, it's gone. I don't know. I have a suspicion that will return. I've got a funny feeling I will get that again, now I've had it. So we shall see. I got outvoted as well today. My suggestion was... Shall we have a order a pizza and shall we watch the Goonies? And straight away everyone said no. One, I don't see a problem with pizza, and two, I don't see a problem with the Goonies. I'll tell you what, these tap bags are brilliant. These Jivvies. Jivvy 602B. I think it's only a 5 litre, but it's absolutely perfect. It's a poison actually, how much you can get in it. And I do like that it has this top compartment which fills that bit. If I can get the drone in there, please remove card. What are you on about? Checking card. Get in that tank and fill me up. That'll do me. Going to the old fella. Jesus Christ. But see you later. Drop. Well, I'm just been seeing the old man. He's a lot better today. He can move a bit. Still doubled up with a bad neck, but he was up and about. He said he managed to sleep last night. So, all's good. We'll check up on him tomorrow. Come on then, Mr. Plod. Pull in. Well, I'm happy with my boots. I feel comfortable. Another thing with those RSTs is they was perforated. So they were summer boots. So they was no good in the winter or the rain. So at least these are all year round boots. So that's it for this little video. I'll catch you on the next one. I'll probably get something together over Monday and Tuesday because I'm back at work. So... Until the next vid, ride safe. If you're out, stay safe and keep safe. So from Mo Torev, we'll see you on the next vid. Bye for now. Be done. Boom, shaka lockdown. <laughs>